CBeebies Bedtime Stories. Hello children. As you know, this week is World Book Week and today, Thursday, is actually World Book Day. Uh, you know how much I love reading and actually I was um, given this book to read and it's one I've, ne I've never read before that I've never come across before. I do know the author, Yuval Zoma, because he's written some fantastic um, fact books, The Big Book of Insects, uh, The Big Book of the Blue, um, but I didn't realise he'd written a nice story book as well. And it is called The Lights That Dance in the Night. And it's about the Northern Lights, or as the scientific term is, Aurora Borealis. And it's beautiful illustrations. We are the lights that dance in the night. We started our journey as specks of dust blown to earth from the sun. We tumbled through clouds, through winds and snowstorms too. Staying strong, keeping together, we found a path through wintry weather. And then we changed as in a dream, through streams of air we shone, we gleamed. We knew what we were meant to be, we are the lights that dance in the night. Our colours brought joy to polar bears and happiness to arctic hares. Flippers clapped to see a swirl and bright bills touched with every twirl. Our dancing lights made whales sing and bells on boats began to ring. We sashayed for an arctic fox. We swayed above an old musk ox. Wolf packs howled beneath our glow and wild cats played on painted snow. We lit the skies for forest birds. We sparkled over reindeer herds. Storytellers wove our lights into tales for long dark nights. People stopped to stand and stare to feel the magic in the air. Young and old, big and small, joined together one and all. Across the Arctic sweep of land and sea, they raised their voices cheerfully. Through clouds and wind and storms we came, illuminating darkness keeping hope aflame. A miracle of winter, we are the lights that dance in the night. Right, so illuminating darkness. So the, the whole book is about the wonder of the Aurora Borealis, which one day I'd like to go and see. You can sometimes see it in Scotland actually, but generally you have to go up to Scandinavia. And hopefully one day I'll get to see the real thing. And hopefully you will have a good night's sleep having listened to this story. So that was my story, a new story to me, and I hope you enjoyed it. And tomorrow the final story is going to be read by Mr Beaumont. So I hope you enjoy that too. Good night. CBB's Bedtime Stories.